Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the excavation of Hobbs Barrow. We've just been to the railway station and things are a bit weird. Our assistant Kenneth never showed up, but it seems our luggage did and was taken to the post office. We also saw what I think is that creepy cat again here, which doesn't bode well, does it? So let's head into town and... Uh... Ah, Cyril, good to see you, mate. Good day to you, Cyril. I'll do, lass. Uh, let's ask about himself. What are you up to, Cyril? Keeping an eye on that bleeding railway station. That's what. Oh, yeah. Thankfully, no one got off the last train. Really hate that station, don't you? Oh, I curse Midland Railway for bringing their damn line through Bewley. No one wants... This is our town, our land. It is no place for outsiders. So you keep saying. Anyway, no more trains today. Almost time to celebrate with an ale, I think. I could do with one myself. You pay in? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, no, nobody wants, you know, convenient public transport options or new people in this place. Leonard Shoulder. I found Mr. Shoulder's house today, but he wasn't home. Why the bleeding hell should I care, lass? All right. Jeez. I'm looking for Hobbs Barrow. Do you know where it is? Mind your own business, lass. You really are quite helpful, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. All right, yeah, see, see you later, Cyril. Uh, lovely to chat again. Um, thank you. Is it getting to, like, evening? I don't know if it is. Right, th is this the, the post the place? The sign is in a shabby state, but the shop appears to be a cobbler's. No, it's not. Right, where's, where's the post office? It was one of these, right? Oh, was it this one? It's the vicarage. Oh, no, it's the vicarage. All right, where's, where's the post office? Somewhere around here, right? That's the alleyway. I I could have sworn it was this way, but maybe not. It wasn't this, was it? The door has been boarded up. The building looks like a ruin. Yeah. Um. I I thought it was this place. Maybe it's a here. local dwelling. Local dwelling. Hmm. I can't actually. Can I we have just... nothing else to ask for the time being. Okay, we can't ask this guy anything. Does anybody know where the flipping post office is? Um, can we go in here, by the way? I don't think anyone is home. No, okay. I mean, I don't suppose the cobblers is going to help us out, any. No. Hmm, no one here. Alright, well, maybe we can ask somebody where this place is. Maybe it's in like another part of the town we haven't seen. Yet. Hello. Hobbs Barrow. You really must find Hobbs Barrow. What did I tell you last time? Not to be found digging around in those things. Fine. Goodbye. Fine. There are. Well, maybe maybe the postmaster guy is in here. It's possible, right? A lot of people come in here. Well, he's saying that. I'm not sure there's anybody in here. No, it's not. Not even um, unless they brought it to our room. Okay, so we've got to find where where the postmaster lives. That's going to be what's that? It's just the menu. Oh, it's lights. I see. I thought it was like a piece of paper or something. Uh, if we head this way, this is out of town, isn't it? It's not. Hey, it's Wally. Good day. Okay. Goodbye. So, and then this is going to take us even further out of town, I think. The road disappears over the horizon. I see nothing but moorland. Okay, so we're not, we can't even go that way by the, the looks of things. So the postmaster took it back to town. This is this is the, the, the inn, so it's not going to be here. This one is the... Um, it's the vicarage. The vicarage. What's up this way? Is there like... Oh, there is more of the town. That must be the postmaster's storeroom. Ah, and is this the postmaster by any chance? He looks a little chirpier than your average Bewley resident. Oh yeah, probably is. Hello. Good day. I haven't seen you in Bewley before. I'm just visiting. Lovely. It's nice to see a new face. We don't get many visitors. My name's Henry. Henry Long. Nice to meet you, Henry. Thomasina Bateman. Wonderful. What a treat. 
Okay, this guy is the polar opposite of everyone else we've met so far. You seem in a good mood, Mr. Long. It's just lovely to see a new face. Where are you from, Miss Bateman? Yeah, he seems harmless. Originally, a small town on the outskirts of Derby, Mr. Long. Though I currently reside in London. London? I've never met anyone from London. You have now. How very exciting. Have you lived there a long time? It's been quite a few years now, yes. I've heard that the air there is so heavy with smoke, it makes it hard to breathe. Is that true? Some days. Oh, you must miss the fresh northern air. Well, you've got that in Bewley. No factories out here. Such things are a blight on his creation. I were born in this very home I stand in front of. Huh. Bewley is in my blood. Good for you. Why would I ever want to leave? Especially now I can meet new folk thanks to the railway line. Huh, someone who actually likes the railway as well. Postmaster. I'm looking for Mr. Price, the postmaster. I'm looking for Mr. Price, the postmaster. Oh, Mr. Price, my lovely neighbour. I'm afraid you've just missed him. Of course. Curses. Of course we did. I saw did. him wheeling a large crate into his storeroom just there. It must be mine. I really need it. Have a look through the window to see if it's yours. Okay, where did Mr. Price go? Where did Mr. Price go? I don't know. The man were in a hurry. I know he has family in Bakewell. That's miles away. Did he leave by foot? No, by horse. Oh. He must be a few miles down the road by now. Curses. <laughs> when will Mr. Price be back? When will Mr. Price be back? He didn't say. Could be tonight. Could be a few days. How infuriating. I told him I'd keep watch of his storeroom. And I'm a man of my word, Miss Bateman. I shall not budge from this spot. What, not even to eat or go to the toilet? <laughs> Leonard Shoulder. Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? Aye. Funny old fellow. I hear he lives way out on the moor somewhere. Correct. Have you seen him recently? No. Not for a long while now that you mention it. Odd pause. Why do you ask? It's a long story, but I was to meet him in Bewley. He invited me here. Well, I must thank him when I see him for inviting such an enchanting young woman. You flatter me, Mr. <laughs> Long. Hobbs Barrow. I'm looking for Hobbs Barrow. One of those old burial hills. Yes. Do you know where it is? Believe it or not, I haven't set foot on the moor since I were a child. Why is that? I've got all I need right here in Bewley. And we're all truly blessed with the railway station which brings us lovely new faces. Your opinion of the railway station differs widely from your fellow townsfolk, Mr. Long. It does. I've not met anyone particularly keen on it. That railway line is the start of a new era for Bewley. Mark my words. There's much to protect here, but we need new blood. I hope that some of you visitors will actually stay here permanently. Why is that? So I have new friends to talk to. <laughs> some people here don't want any new friends. Yep. Cyril Farnaby, the miserable old sod, <laughs> is the worst offender. Yeah, we met him. <laughs> Let's ask about Cyril. I've had the pleasure of meeting Cyril. He really dislikes the railway station. Absolutely miserable he is. <laughs> I've tried to convince him many times that the station will help Bewley. He just doesn't understand. I met him last night in the plough and furrow. Aye, the scene of our many debates. Blimey, I could go for a nail right now, actually. <laughs> the plough and furrow. Can I buy you a drink? Really? No, wait. Do you think Mr. Kemp will let me open a tap? Perhaps. You could always ask him. Hmm... I shouldn't leave anywhere. Mr. Price is relying on me to keep watch of his storeroom. Goodbye. Don't be a stranger. Literally the first open-minded person we've met in this game. Right, let's have a look through this window then, like you suggested. Okay. There's my crate. Kenneth always ties a red ribbon to it. All right, I can so... see an envelope tucked behind the ribbon. Perhaps it can help explain Kenneth's absence. Maybe. I'm going to have to get in there. Yeah, I think we're probably going to have to distract our... What's this say? Royal Mail, Postmaster's Residence. This must be the local post office. Alright, we're going to have to distract this guy. There's nothing else guy. I wish to discuss at the moment. Maybe we can, like, bring him an ale or something? So we're going to have to get into there. I, I, I assume it's locked as well, although maybe not. Let's see if we can uh, go and get an ale. 
Aha! Stanley's back, and so is this guy who we, we didn't meet before, the drunk guy. Alright, Stanley, good to see you again. Opening a tab. I'm sorry to ask this, Mr. Kemp, but could I please open a tab? Still not in your purse? Nope. I'm afraid not. My assistant hasn't arrived as planned, so I find myself in a bind. He must have put the money in my crate, which is currently being held in Mr. Price's storeroom. Well, as you know, I run an honest establishment here. Yep. And I do trust you. Nice. So okay. Yes, I'll open an account for you. Thank you. To be settled at the end of your stay. Of course. Thank you, Mr. Kemp. Now then, I'll be needing something of value as a deposit. I thought you said you trusted me. <laughs> Aye. It's not personal, lass. One can never be too cautious. True. All right, well, let's ask about Leonard Shoulder again. I found Mr. Shoulder's home, thanks to the help of Father Roach. Wonderful. So you've met our vicar then? Strange guy, yeah. Yes, I did. An interesting character. Indeed. Hmm. So, did old Leonard apologise for his absence? Not quite. He wasn't home. What is that man playing at? Good question. You tell me. Hobbs Barrow. I've decided to find Hobbs Barrow without Mr. Shoulder's aid. Are you sure that's a wise idea, lass? No. What other choice do I have? I have a feeling he is avoiding me. Do you know where I can find the barrow? No, sorry. I say that on my mother's grave, Miss Bateman. Okay, a Kenneth. My assistant has not arrived as planned. Oh, is everything all right? I'm not entirely sure. Am I to keep a room for him, just in case? If you could hold it for one more night, Mr. Kemp. As you wish. Okay, the tab. How can I open a tab again? Leave me an item of value as a deposit. I'll give it back to you at the end of your stay, when it will be time to pay the piper. <laughs> All right, fine. Goodbye. See you soon. What do we have that we can give him? Room key, matchbox. I mean, we've got this silver necklace, but it's technically not ours. So there's, there's a weird sound whenever we walk into this room, and it slightly unnerves me. my case in there. A box within a box. So to, what what was this for? It's for the room. We can't like un. I don't wish to store that in there. Oh, we can store things I've in there. I hung my dress inside. Aside from that, the wardrobe is empty. All right. Well, I mean, the only thing I can think of at this moment is this silver necklace, but it's 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 not ours. Will you accept this silver cross pendant as a deposit? Can I take a closer look at it? Yeah, hopefully it's got no one's name on it or something. It's definitely ours. Worth a lot of money. Aye, silver. Yeah. That'll do. Well. Thank you, Mr. Kemp. Can I get you something to drink? Uh, not not right now. Not right now, Mr. Kemp. As you were. I mean, the question is, do do we... I'll tell you what, let's go back to... Um, what's his name? Is it Jason? I think it was Jason, wasn't it? Let's go Let's go and talk to him now that we've opened the tab. Maybe we'll need to get a drink and bring it to him. Hello. Good day. Can I buy you a drink, Henry? Really? Really? Yeah. We can talk more at the inn. But I told Mr. Price I'd keep watch of his storeroom. Doors have locks for this very reason. You're right. One drink won't take long. I shall take you up on your offer, Miss Bateman. Cool. Let us make our way. So I'm guessing we're going to have to sneak out the back door, go around the alley, and go the and break in. Rocket Stevenson's only design, you know. Before that, there were the Blucher and the Locomotion. But my favourite would have to be the Lancashire Witch. I believe he built that in 1828. In Newcastle, of course. Well... That's me. I better be off. Wait. Ta-ra, Miss Bateman. Oh, no. I couldn't even get a word in. <laughs> he likes a good chin wag, our Henry. He certainly does. Hmm, okay. Interesting. So that didn't work out as planned. Oh, he's Henry, not Jason. Right. Mr. Long. Hello. Good day. Can we? Oh, we might be able to get another drink. Can I buy you another drink? I suppose one more ale won't hurt. I mean, I'll take you up on your offer, Miss Bateman. Are we literally? Let's make our way. 
Are we just going to get him drunk to the point he passes out or something and then sneak in? The rear wheels are powered by coupling rods. Would you believe the boiler had two flu tubes? Two! There were nothing like it. Well, that's me. I better be off. Wait! Ta da, Miss Bateman. Hmm. Curses. I'm starting to feel somewhat tipsy. I'm here to excavate Hobbs Barrow, not Hobbs Barrels. <laughs> Hobbs Barrel's achievement unlocked. Right, can we ask Henry Long? Henry Long can talk, can't he? <laughs> He's a colourful character. The man drinks like a fish. He certainly does. I've seen him drink this place dry and still be up to tend his garden Aye. at sunrise. The man can truly hold his ale. Goodbye. See you soon. So getting him drunk isn't going to work because he can handle his ale. I mean, I don't think we've got anything we can put in the drink to, like, make him fall asleep. All right, then. Well, uh, that is where we'll leave it for this episode. We've got to try and find a way to get into that storeroom. But, yes, yeah, nice to meet somebody friendly in town other than good old um, Stanley here. Really enjoying the game. It's fantastic, isn't it? So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Coomadin, and Paul Leone. And I'll see you next time.